Hi, this video is on the normal distribution. We're going to be looking at quantiles, quartiles, percentiles, and the interquartile range. So, learning to find Q1, Q2, and Q2 Q and Q3 using normal distribution, find any percentile using a normal distribution, and find the interquartile range using normal distribution. So, um, percentiles, quantiles, and quartiles. Well, quantiles are uh, the kind of overarching term. Uh, it's a way of splitting the data into chunks, and common quantiles are quartiles, which splits the data into four equal uh, parts, deciles, which splits the data into ten equal parts, percentiles into 100 equal parts, but you could have others as well. The first quartile is known as Q1, a uh, value below which 25% of the data lies. Uh, Q3 is the value between which, below which rather, 75% of the data lies. Okay, so uh, first example, if Z is modeled by normal distribution of mean zero and standard deviation one, um, which is our standard normal, find the 0 0.30 quantile. So what this is asking us to do is find the point at which the data has been split such that uh, we get 0 0.3 here or 30% of the data. So this is um, Z, so we have a mean of 0, standard deviation 1, um, and we're going to try to find the probability, well actually we know that the probability that Z is less than uh, Z, Z1, is 0 0.3. So we're going to have to do an inverse distribution, or inverse normal function on our calculator to find out what that value is. So, um, ah, you can see it here already, but we'll just work through it. Interactive, uh, distribution, inverse distribution, inverse, inverse normal. Uh, we're looking for a left tail setting, so we've got the data on the left hand side of the line. Probability is 0 0.3, uh, nu is 1, sorry, nu is 0, sigma is 1, and there we go, minus 0 0.5244. So that basically means that, because this is a standard normal distribution, if you are 0 0.5244 standard deviations away from the mean, down this end, uh, to the left of that, you have 30% of the data. Okay, next one. Uh, the 80th percentile, so here we're being asked to find the point at which 80% of the data lies below it. Now we know it's going to be off to this side because 50% is slap bang in the middle there. Um, we're using this Z again, so we've got 0, sigma equals 1, and this is now all 0 0.8. This time I need to solve the problem. The probability that z is less than, we'll call this z2, is equal to 0 0.8. Again, I've used an inverse normal distribution function on my calculator to work that out. So I go interactive, uh, distribution, inverse, inverse normal. It's a left tail setting still because the data is to the left of our line there. This time it's 0 0.8. It's still 1 and 0, which gives us 0 0.8416. So that's telling us that at this point here, your 0.8416 standard deviations above the mean, and that means that 80% of the data is to the left of that point. This one asks us for the first quartile. For that, we have to know that that's talking about the first 25% of the data. So again, if we draw our normal distribution with 0 here, sigma equals 1 here, 25% um, then is going to mean I've got 0 0.25 here, and I have the same type of problem, inverse normal interactive, distribution, inverse, inverse normal. This time I have 0.25 and it tells me that it's minus 0 0.6745. So the probability that Z is less than, I'll call this Z3, this is a clear question, um, the probability that equals 0 0.25 is um, minus 0 0.6745. So that's the value, it's 6 or 0.6745 standard deviation below the mean and to the left of that I have 25% of the data. Now, here we've got uh, Q1 uh, mean, or which is also the median here because it's the 50% uh, point here and Q3 marked on, uh, which means that 25% of the data lies to the left of Q1. Another 25% lies between Q1 and the mean, which is also the median here, the middle point. Um, another 25% there takes us to Q3, and then the final 25% would be in here. The interquartile range uh, is the distance between Q1 and Q3. So in order to work out the IQR, the interquartile range, we need to know what that value is and what that is. Actually, if you know that and you know that, you can work out that because of the symmetry. 
So our question is find the interquartile range given that x is modelled by a normal distribution with mean 71 and standard deviation 8.3. So first thing to do is to sketch it. We've put in our mean here of 71, standard deviation is 8.3. The um, Q1 and Q3 are going to be here, which is what we're going to work out. And we know that that's uh, 0 0.25 there and another 0 0.25 there. There's a few ways you could work this out, but we'll do it this way. So interactive, distribution, inverse normal. Um, now this time it's a left tail setting. I'll do Q1 first. My probability is 0 0.25. My mean uh, is 71 and my standard deviation is 8.3. If we then click here, we get uh, a value of 65.40. So my lowest quartile version uh, the value here rather is 65.4. Um, so it didn't specify what this was measuring, but it could be heights, weights, numbers of objects, could be anything. Um, Q3 now, I'm going to find that one using the same process. This time I'm going to go tail setting right because the data is over there. I want uh, 0.25 to the right. Um, I still have uh, 8.3 as my standard deviation and my mean is 71. So here I get 76.598, so 76.60. Now there's a few different ways you could have worked this out. We could have gone a left tail setting and found 75% here or 0.75, or we could have just used symmetry, uh, worked out the distance here and then said, well, it's going to be the same distance to here. So there's a few different ways you can work it out. But now that we have Q3 and Q1, uh, Q3 is 76.6, Q1 is 66.4, uh, so we want uh, the interquartile range. Q1 minus, sorry, Q3 minus Q1 is equal to 10.2. So there we go. That's our interquartile range. Okay, so a quantile is a way of dividing data into equal proportions. Common quantiles are quartiles, four equal pieces, deciles, ten equal pieces, percentiles, 100 equal pieces. Q1 marks off the first 25%, Q2 the first 50%, or the median. Q3 is the mark of the 75%. And the interquartile range is the difference between Q3 and Q1. That's it.